Hey y'all, check this out. France just built a real-life X-Wing, and it's shooting down Shahed's over Ukraine. Alta Ares has started mass production of the X-Wing Interceptor at a confidential facility in France. It is an autonomous, vertical takeoff and landing Interceptor optimized to kill conventional propulsion suicide drones, the Shahed family being the most famous example. The company claims battlefield-proven performance in Ukraine, where the drone has already been used in nighttime interception missions. Hey everyone, Wes here, military veteran, editor-in-chief of Eyes Only on Substack, and today we're talking about a very French problem solver turned battlefield hero. Alta Ares X-Wing Interceptor drone, and why a little VTOL bird made in secrecy in France is already changing how Ukraine fights the Shahed swarm. So break out your lightsabers, friends. Lock as foils in attack positions. Standing by. Good five, standing by. Let's see how France is swatting Russian drones like cheap TIE fighters. The X-Wing is a combat enhancer. No, it does, does a dirty work at the edge of the network, leaving the Expensive missiles for the higher value threats, eh? <laughs> Pixel Lock Alta Ares onboard AI is the secret sauce. It lets the X Wing see, classify, and lock onto hostile drones without waiting for a human operator to babysit the engagement. France plans to produce hundreds with part manufacturing split between France and Ukraine. And the project is apparently ITAR in China free. Now that phrasing matters because it means the system can flow through certain NATO and EU procurement lines with fewer roadblocks. Now Ukraine has been facing three problems at once. First, Russia floods the sky with cheap drones, sometimes hundreds in a wave. Hence, Ukrainian point defenses can be overwhelmed. Second, many interceptors and countermeasures require good radar coverage, but the battlefield is crowded with jammers and decoys, so detection and correct cueing is often the weak link. Third, human operators are stretched, sleep-deprived, and making rapid decisions under stress. So automating the terminal intercept phase reduces cognitive load and increases the number of engagements per hour. It buys time, it frees shooters for other tasks, and it tightens a kill chain that was leaking like a sieve. The X-Wing takes off vertically, climbs to an intercept envelope, and flies a terminal intercept profile. It uses onboard sensors, a vision stack, and most importantly, Pixel Lock, an AI-driven algorithm trained on battlefield data. Pixel Lock ingests imagery, recognizes Shahed variants, distinguishes decoys, and computes an optimal intercept point. When it sees a live target, it locks autonomously and closes on that target, where kinetic collision or a small warhead neutralizes the threat. Now, the system was tuned in combat conditions, which is rare. Algorithms trained on lab data are one thing. Algorithms refined with real Shahed flight profiles under jamming, under decoys, under electronic noise are another. The X-Wing learned in the school you do not want to attend unless you like explosions and late night maintenance. Pixel Lock can identify targets in heavy clutter, but jamming still creates false positives. For that reason, Alta Ares coupled RS signatures and visual confirmation to reduce false engagements. That redundancy is the difference between wasting an interceptor and saving a battery of air defense missiles. Now, Alta Ares did something many startups promise and few deliver. They tested in theater. The X-Wing has been flown with Ukrainian air defense units, mainly at night when electro-optical contrast helps the vision system. And the company reports intercepts of multiple Shahed variants, including saturation raids where adversaries mix decoys with real strike birds. Those engagements produce training data, and Alta Ares iterated its firmware accordingly. This is why the company says its success rate jumped from 35 to 45% above the baseline interceptors achieve without AI, to up to 65% with pixel lock enabled. 
and why they aim for 75% by next year with more networked radars. So performance improves as sensor density increases. Alta Ares says it will produce 400 X-Wings next year, meaning Western customers can buy without US export entanglements or awkward balance of power politics with Beijing. They will build the airframes in France while sourcing some components from Ukraine, which has two benefits. First, it speeds up delivery while allowing Ukrainian industry to scale up. Second, it deepens industrial ties. Consequently, battlefield wins translate into post-war economic ties, like this. NATO-linked procurement chatter suggests that these interceptors are already on contract paths, which explains the secret production site and the confidentiality. Pixel Lock is designed to integrate with integrated air defense and missile defense architecture, so X-Wings can be queued by existing radars and they can report back tracks for higher level fusion. Autonomy does not mean isolation though. You want an X-Wing to act alone when latency kills you, but you also want that X-Wing to share its kill confirmation and classified telemetry with the rest of the network. So the next intercept gets smarter. Alta Ares also has a partnership with U.S. integrator PicoGrid. PicoGrid builds the glue that lets new sensors talk to established command systems. That glue reduces friction. Adoption curves accelerate. And if the X-Wing is a night ops close-in interceptor, the Blackbird is Alta Ares' answer to a different problem entirely. The Blackbird is a turbojet-powered interceptor intended to chase faster, longer-range threats like the jet-propelled Duran-5, which reportedly reaches speeds that make rotary wing interceptors pointless. The Blackbird promises longer legs, faster closure, and a chance to engage targets that would otherwise outrun VTOL drones. It is still a prototype, but testing in Ukraine is imminent. Now that testing will answer a key question. Can an autonomous turbojet interceptor survive in a contested electromagnetic spectrum environment? So Blackbird's success matters not just as hardware, but as validation of a new operational concept. Now, Alta Ares did not build its models from textbooks. It built them from Ukraine's chaos. Pixel Lock was trained on real Shahed launch profiles, on footage captured under jamming, and on the kind of night raids that have melted air defense timers. The company openly says it developed algorithms in collaboration with Ukrainian partners. That is not a marketing tagline, that is a tactical edge. Models that reflect reality behave better when reality gets messy. It's why Alta Ares' intercept rate isn't just a number, it's evidence the system works even when nothing else does. But human factors still matter, and soldiers will always be in the loop here. Autonomy sells headlines, but the deployment model is human-centric operators still supervise, they still set rules of engagement, and they still decide what to engage when targets are ambiguous. Pixel Lock reduces workload, but it does not replace accountability. Commanders will define risk thresholds, collateral damage parameters, and no-fire zones. Alta Ares understands this, so their UI emphasis is not on flashy graphs, it's on explainable AI outputs and operator overrides. That approach reduces hesitation and increases thrust, which is what you need when the enemy is cheap and reckless, like Russia. Now, Russia will adapt if the X-Wing works in mass, expect deployment of dedicated anti-UAV jammers, decoy profiles that fuel vision stacks, and tactics that swarm beyond single interceptor engagement time. Russia may also accelerate Duran-5 deployment to outrange VTOL interceptors. Now that escalation is predictable, so Alta Ares Blackbird is not a luxury. It's a necessary step on the path to parity. The offense response loop never breaks, but innovation can stay a step ahead if production and doctrine move fast. Autonomy in lethal systems raises questions, but these interceptors target inbound munitions, not people. They are defensive by design, built to protect populated areas, critical infrastructure, and troops. That situates them in a clearer ethical lane. Still, rules of engagement and oversight are non-negotiable. Pixel Lock must be auditable. Auditable. Audit-able. Pixel Lock must be auditable. Hence, Alta Ares faces pressure to provide trace logs and accountability, not opaque black boxes. A startup that began with battlefield data, teamed with Ukrainian engineers, now builds hundreds of interceptors, and suddenly France exports something other than culture. That is strategic weight. 
call it a soft power pivot with hard effects. So here's what to watch next. Watch for test data coming out of Ukraine on Blackbird. Watch for procurement announcements from NATO partners referencing ITAR-free interceptors. Watch for integration stories where X-Wings show up in a layered defense exercise, being queued by a NATO radar and handing off tracks to a Patriot battery. And watch for clogged logistical chains. If spare parts become a bottleneck, expect creative solutions. Ukraine is the master of ingenuity after all, and they will keep these things flying. The pace of adaptation will tell you whether this is a one-off tech stunt or a durable shift in Ukraine's air defense. But ultimately, this is not a fairy tale where an AI drone swoops in and everything is solved. It is a pragmatic advancement born of battlefield necessity, industrial agility, and a stubborn willingness to test in combat in Ukraine. Ukraine needed cheap, effective interceptors, so someone built them, tested them in the harshest condition possible, and started making them in volume. The X-Wing is not a miracle. It is a tool that changes the odds. And in war, odds are everything. That's it for today, my friends. This is a no-droid zone around here. We don't take too kindly to AI slop. How rude! So, subscribing is the single best way to keep this channel alive and healthy. And as always, may the force be with you. Glory to Ukraine. Glory to the heroes. Crimea is Ukraine.